all right guys welcome back to another video on evolutions so today i'm just going to show you guys how to use the honda sense uh self-driving feature and again it's a pretty cool feature especially for the, the kind of car that it is and how much the car really costs so like i said i'm just going to show you guys how to use it and see what you guys think about it and you know eventually we'll try to get a tesla into and actually really try to use it then and go for that the big dog if you will um, of the self-driving autonomous, you know, driving cars. So, so yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit main, and that will make the uh, the that adaptive cruise control kick in, as well as the lane keep assist kick in. And as you can see, when you hit it, the ACC and LKAS symbol come up on the uh, the, the uh, instrument cluster, and then you know it's on. So then what we're going to do now is we're going to set the cruise control. I'll set it at seventy. So we're going to go to. 70 miles an hour and so now now the adaptive cruise control is on and so now to get the lane keep assist and make sure the car will stay in its lane we're going to hit this button right here and as you can see up top the lanes come up on the screen so what this feature does is basically it will use all of its um safety features that, that's within the car so you know again that the adaptive cruise control the adaptive braking system the lane keep assist as well as um, you know, several other safety features that the car has to offer, and it will basically drive itself. Now, with that being said, too, it will have you touch the steering wheel about every five seconds. It will have you do some slight steering wheel moves in it. That way, it makes sure that you're still basically in the car. Because, you know, obviously, a lot of times what people will do when they find this out is they'll test it out and be dangerous with it and, you know, try to hop in the back seat you know stuff like that so basically honda wants to be safe when you use it so that's why it makes sure that you keep your hand on the steering wheel or you at least give it some steering wheel movement so as you can see right now it's actually driving itself right now so i'll just i'll take my hand off the car off the steering wheel and it will as you can see i'm holding the camera with my left hand and and showing you guys my right hand and the car is basically keeping in its own lane and then here pretty soon it will come up with on it'll come up saying uh, steering required as you can see right now. So let's give it some slight steering movement on the steering wheel and here we go again It said it'll veer it'll veer in its own lane a little bit like you see right now And then it'll correct itself again and again for a twenty four twenty five thousand dollar car that is literally driving itself right now That is super cool. And like I said again, here's my hand and again, I'm holding I'm, I was holding the camera with my left hand as you can see, steering required. We'll get a little bit of steering input. Now, here's a big corner, relatively. Again, here's my hand. The car will steer itself in the correct direction. And again, it'll correct itself when it gets over too much. So again, it's not as good as the Tesla autopilot system is, but again, that is about a 60 to $120,000 car or SUV, depending on which, which model you get. This is $24,000. So this is not bad at all. As you can see, it's still on the dashboard. ACC LKAS, steering required. will give it a little bit of steering input. It'll go away on the dashboard and then we're good to go again. And then again, for for when, you're, when it's driving itself too, when a car gets close to you, in front of you, it will start breaking, breaking um, you know, applying the brakes as well staying required get a little input it'll start applying the brakes as well so that way again it will keep a lot of an allotted amount of distance between you and the car in front of you in case there's some sort of hazard that comes uh, about too so yeah And again, here's a big corner again as the car's steering itself. Now again, it will go over its lane, as you can see, but then it will correct itself. Obviously, the bigger the lane, it, it wants you to try to, you know, give it a little bit of input as well, as I just did there, just to help it out a little bit. Like I said, it's, like I keep saying, it's not as great as the Tesla system is. However, looking at the, at the price range of this car, it's not bad either. So here we go, another big corner. It'll start steering itself. Steering required, so I'll get a little bit of steering input. Second. So 
steering required again to get a little bit of steering input and so when i first tried this honestly it sketched me out now would i use this all the time no i like being in control myself however it's a nice little um feature to try to, to really show what honda can do when they really you know put time and money into their research and development team and i like this a lot now, obviously, I, I personally wouldn't, you know, go out and buy a car that completely drives itself. You can see, as we get close to the car in front of us, the car starts slowing down. So now, instead of doing 70 miles an hour, now we're doing 69. And we're continually getting close to the car in front of us. So it will start decreasing its speed very slightly. And it will even completely, it will come to a complete stop as well, if needed to, if the car in front of us did a complete stop. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off here. So all we're going to do is just press the uh, lane departure um, button right here. Turn that off. Now we're back in full control of the car. Besides the, the adaptive cruise control, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off now. So let's tap on a brake. And now we're in complete 100% full control of the car. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this very short video on how to use the uh, Honda Sensing uh, self-driving feature. Um, and remember guys, to like and subscribe if you guys wanna see more of these videos. We will be doing a lot more technical videos because I know a lot of people want to know, do a lot more educational, you know, how to use this, how to do that with their cer with ca certain cars. And so again, we are going to try to get a Tesla on our channel as well, just so that you guys can see the actual self-driving, full autonomous self-driving feature of the Teslas and how they work. But yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and remember we're also doing our subscriber giveaway. So you guys have a chance to either choose one of three prizes. You guys can either choose a, a $50 gift card to any performance shop of your choosing. And that's any, that's Hennessy Performance, um, you know, Lincoln Filter Performance, if they sell gift cards, any performance shop of your choosing. Uh, you guys can go for a ride in our 2010 cammed out Camaro SS, or you guys can go for a ride in our 1999 Mitsubishi Evolution 6, that's right hand drive also. And so, you know, that, that we, we can give back to you guys for being so supportive of, of us, basically since, since, since we started this video. So, remember guys, to like, subscribe, and I'll, I'll see you guys later. Peace.